he didn't die for me. The crucifixion of the Nazarene is often viewed through a religious lens. However, I believe that it was more of a political act than a religious one. The Nazarene's teachings not only challenged the religious orthodoxy of the Jewish leaders but also posed a threat to the Roman Empire's political stability. Historians like Reza Aslan, in his book Zealot, argue that the Nazarene was seen as a revolutionary figure, a potential king who could lead a rebellion against Roman rule. Pilate's Political Dilemma Historical accounts, including those from Roman historians like Tacitus, suggest that the Nazarene was brought before Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor of Judea. Pilate was in a precarious position. Judea was a challenging province to govern, with frequent uprisings and revolts. The Nazarene's title, King of the Jews, was a direct affront to Roman authority. Pilate, needing to maintain order and appease the Roman Emperor, had to tread carefully. The crowd's complex motivations. The crowd's call for the Nazarene's crucifixion is a subject of much debate among historians. Some suggest they were swayed by Jewish leaders who felt threatened by the Nazarene's teachings. Others believe they were influenced by Roman propaganda portraying him as a rebel leader. Recent archaeological findings, like the Pilate Stone, give us insights into the tense political climate of the time, which could have influenced the crowd's decision. This event wasn't just a religious spectacle, it was a political demonstration, with the entire populace, including some of the Nazarene supporters, in attendance. The crowd's motivations are complex. They might have feared Roman retaliation, believing that supporting the Nazarene would lead to increased taxes or forced labor. They might have been swayed by the Jewish leaders, who saw the Nazarene as a threat to their religious authority. Or perhaps they were simply caught up in the moment, eager to witness a significant event. It's essential to recognize that people's beliefs and actions are shaped by various factors, including societal pressures, fear, and self-preservation. Would modern Christians, when faced with a similar situation, also call for the Nazarene's crucifixion to protect themselves? If the Nazarene's death was meant to save humanity, it's worth questioning its efficacy, as sin and suffering have persisted. I would like to make it clear that I am not an enemy of the Nazarene. We may stand on different sides, but it's crucial to challenge dominant narratives and offer alternative viewpoints. My opposition isn't against the Nazarene or humanity but against religious hypocrisy and oppressive doctrines. Reflecting on the profound words scribbled on a Nazi concentration camp wall, if there is a God, he will have to beg my forgiveness, I encourage all to introspect, question, and pursue enlightenment. Hail Satan!